let's proceed to uh, reproduction. For reproduction, we have two types. Uh, the first one, the asexual cell division mitosis, one cell becomes two. And the second one is sexual union of sex cells, which is the sperm and the egg. Uh, to further discuss to you about the reproduction, why is it asexual is related to that. Uh, to explain to you further, as you can see in this illustration that I have prepared, there is one, one mother cell and it was able to produce two identical daughter cells because in mitosis it had a process of prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase and also it undergo cytokinesis which produces two identical cells from a mother cell. So again, there is a reproduction. Next one, um, for the movement, we have three types. I have uh, uh, the first one is place to place. The, sex the second one is uh, the external part. The third one is the internal. So for the exact good one good example for the uh, play place to place is bear running, birds flying. So one bird from one place and then it flew out. You know it uh, it it fly from another place again. Bear from north to east. Okay. So that is one uh, example for place to place. For the external, if uh, if I'll be raising my hand and if I'll be waving it, okay, automatically there is an external movement had occur. For the internal movement, one good example for this one is the heart, okay? Because our heart, you know, usually beats about 100,000 times um, a day. Okay, so that what that is one good example for the internal part for movement. Then the next one is adaptation. So it says here changing to meet the needs of our of the environment. One in, uh, example we have bird migration, behavioral adaptation. The next one is um, human body temperature, physiological adaptation, and the third one is hibernation, uh, physiological adaptation. Okay, for for the best good example for adaptation is about body temperature. So if I'm if I go outside and there is a 30 degree Celsius temperature, automatically um, my body temperature will automatically adapt to the temperature outside as well. Okay, for hibernation, uh, specifically for polar bears, which is located in the North Pole. Okay, they usually adopt on the cold, cold, uh, cold temperature. Okay, so in a cold place, that's where they live. So that means that their body automatically adapts to the environment. Next one, um, metabolism, set of chemicals reactions that converts food into energy. Food we eat, process of uh, digestion, mixing of food uh, of fluids. Um, acids and enzymes which is stomach so to explain it to you further about metabolism so if i have food and i have swallow it automatically it will be uh, uh there it already undergo metabolism during that stage if it's already it's just in my mouth because in my mouth there is a presence already of an enzyme so once that i swallow it automatically it goes through the stomach since that there is a process of digestion because there is a presence of acid and enzyme, those food will automatically be metabolized. And once it undergo metaboli uh, metabolism, the food will be converted into energy. Next one is uh, specific organization. For specific organization, certain parts do specific jobs. Uh, example I have is heart, pancreas, chloroplast. So for the heart, of course, we know that uh, the heart it's responsible for pushing about 5,000 gallons of blood through our body every 24 hours. So that means it supplies the blood uh, that much. So that is its uh, job. For, uh, what else for the pancreas? It is a, uh, a gland organ. Okay, It usually produces insulin and other important enzymes and hormones that helps breaks down the food so it helps on breaking down the food if we don't have if we do have too much glucose if I, we eat too much sweets automatically because of the presence of the, the the pancreas it secretes insulin that helps us not to become diabetic okay 
or increase our blood glucose. Next one, um, homeostasis. Maintaining the same state or what we call the homeo which is uh, uh, means same and stasis means state. One, one good example for this was, is a human body temperature. I prepared a uh, illustration but before that let me show this to you. Homostatic regulation. Uh, homostatic regulatory uh, mechanism we have three main factors which is the the receptor the control center and the effector for the receptor okay it senses an environmental change or the stimuli so that means that it is our skin that usually receive receive it okay so that is where the receptor is located at the control center is our brain or the command center itself okay so where the the signaling or the one who who gives the decision what to do or command next one is the effector an organ or a cell that responds to the command of the control center so after getting the signal from the re receptor automatically it triggers the control center to make a response and effector is the one who will respond or the the organ or the, the the cell is the one who will respond to what the command of the the brain wants to execute so to show you an example on, of an illustration that i have prepared as you can see here uh, homeostasis normal body temperature for example if I'm here in this room right now and uh, I have about 20 degrees Celsius inside this room and I decided to go out of my home and it's very hot about 40 degrees Celsius automatically what happens uh, it increases or rising of body temperature right so that means that it will trigger my receptor okay will receive that it's too hot okay and those receptor will automatically triggers my, the control center which is my brain because in my brain there is a what we call the thermoregulatory center in the hypothalamus so automatically i um what i'll do is i will make the the control center my brain automatically signal the effector to secrete sweat okay so because i do have sweat gland so magpapawis ako ang mangyayari ma, uh, papawisan ako because of the command of the control center so again this is a cycle for you to be able to understand how how homeostasis uh, works okay next one let's proceed to the um, responsiveness so for the responsiveness um it is a reaction to a various stimuli so that means that a uh, good example for this one is the light, the heat, the pH stands for potential of hydrogen, and the smell. For the light, um, like just imagine that you it was night time during night time, and then you were walking outside, okay, in the street, and there is a vehicle passing through, and there is a light shock on your in your eyes. So what happens is that you will create a response that you wanted to block that light. Okay, next one is um, for the smell. One good example, just imagine that you are inside the classroom together with your friends or your classmates and suddenly someone had a, a you know, someone fart. Okay, there is a creation of bad odor. Okay, automatically you're able to smell it and it's very, it's not really good. So what, what happens is that you will create a response that you will be covering your nose. That is one good example of a response of this. Next one is, um, okay, now let's proceed to the branches of biology. I will just be browsing this up, but you just have to be familiar with this one because you might encounter this in your college entrance exam. Okay, so for this one, um, I have highlighted the most important ones, okay? Of course, for zoology, the study of animals, it could be a bigger one or a smaller animal, okay? Uh, etiology, study of fish. Mammalogy is study of mammals. Ornithology, study of birds. Botany, the study of plants. Uh, I have highlighted bot botany because, uh, because the first one is the importance of it, 
right? Uh, as we all know, uh, botany, it helped us for food production. It also served as a herbs and spices to to uh, get to have flavors in our food. And of course, for medicine, uh, to give you some information about medicine, um, 80% or 70 to 80 percent uh, of medicine which is available commercially is coming from plants okay uh, but we will be having a specific topic for medicinal plants afterwards okay I, I will be giving you more information about medicinal plants later on um, microbiology study of small life so that means those are microorganisms such as bacteria uh, fungi protozoans and more okay those are just example uh, next one is the anatomy study of an organism's part so such as heart liver pancreas those are some example and of course physiology study of how the organism part works so that means that it is the function so if the anatomy is the heart the physiolo physiology is the function of the heart okay Next one, um, let me go through with this one. Entomology, a study of insects, uh, genetics, study of heredity and genetic materials such as uh, DNA and RNA. By the way, uh, the DNA means doxyribonucleic acid and uh, the RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. Okay. Uh, chromosomes and genes. Uh, we will be discussing and you'll be able to, I will be able to highlight this during uh, mitosis okay next one um we still have a few more uh ecology study of all life in particular areas in relationship those who, life forms in the environment so in the environment itself the relationship taxonomy study of naming classifying organism so that means it is uh, more on identifying the name so we do have scientific names this is also part of uh, taxonomy uh, we will be having a separate uh, topic for this one about classification of the plants next one is um, embryology study of formation and development of organism how does it started uh, biochemistry study of biochemical compositions process of living things so it's a combination of biology and chemistry and its reaction Next one, um, bioinformatics. These are modern branches of biological science. It is a study of biological data using um, computer programs. So that means that uh, innovations, technology has been incorporated to biology. Next one is genomics, study of the entire genetic materials of an organism. Again, these are um, genetic genetic. Um, genetic content or materials which is usually found in in the genes okay next one uh, we'll have another one which is molecular biology study of mo molecules that makes up the cell of a living organism next one is pharmacogenomics -geno study of genes affects a person's response to a drug so it is a combination of pharmacology and genomics uh, once that the person were able to take the drug what will be the side effect or what will be the adverse effect upon taking it okay uh, synthetic biology study of combined biology and engineer um, systems biology study of systems of biological molecules such as cell organisms and species 